Today we're going to be looking at an espresso maker. Uh, it turns out this is the only espresso maker I have in the house that's functional at the moment. This is a, a little stovetop espresso maker um, and it doesn't have any markings on it so I'm not sure. Uh, actually I have no information about it other than it's an espresso maker. And it's your standard uh, stovetop sort of jobby. Um, you unscrew it and so it's got three parts. This is where the coffee grounds go. Uh, it's got a little built-in filter, so you're not going to add any paper to it. Um, it's not new. Uh, it's got some pitting on the inside. Um, I've been cleaning it this morning, and it's in as clean as I can get it. Um, so in general, you just fill this up with water. Uh, you put it on the stovetop. Um, water obviously expands as it boils. It is forced under pressure, which is what makes it espresso, forced under pressure up through this basket, through the filter in here, um, and will come out, oops, will come out that little hole in um, the top of the pot, let's call it a pot, um, and there you have espresso. I don't tend to like these very much, which is probably why this is the only one I have. Um, this one I think is quite pretty, um, but um, on the whole, I don't tend to favor this sort of coffee. I like espresso, um, but I, I've never really had a love for the stovetop espresso maker. So I'm gonna, because I don't use these very often, um, there's entirely a good chance of user error in this. Um, I was doing a little research online this morning. Uh, you fill up the basket. You do not tamp the basket as you would uh, many other forms of espresso or with a, a commercial espresso machine. Just fill the basket here with grounds, drop it in like that. Top is firmly on. And so now we're gonna, it's been almost four minutes and we're starting to get some activity, some noise. This is actually the second time I'm making coffee with this pot. Um, the first time it leaked more out of the, the seam where I was suspected it would leak. Uh, this time it seems to be doing just fine. I tightened it on a little bit more, so... No? Nope. There we go. We are definitely leaking some water. Um, making things exciting. And inside, no action yet. And here you can see the espresso coming out. Apparently that leak isn't significant enough to not allow any pressure. Um, interestingly enough, it was squirting out a little bit more forcefully previously. Okay, it's been about six and a half minutes. We don't seem to be getting much liquid coming up anymore. So I think we'll give it maybe 15 more seconds and say that it's about seven minutes um, from when you turn on the heat until you end up with espresso. As you would expect, the espresso on the top is very hot, uh, 198, about 200 degrees. Um, and again, it really wasn't boiling so much when it came through as being forced through by the steam which had already boiled. So it's not surprising that it's slightly below boiling, but still much hotter than many of the other forms of uh, coffee that we've had. As you can see, the coffee is quite dark, um, which it obviously should be for espresso. Um, you can see a little bit of oil on the top. Um, this espresso machine or maker didn't really give us much crema. Uh, in fact, there's no crema. Um, I don't know how much I should have expected from a stovetop machine, but that's a little bit disappointing. The coffee is quite drinkable. It's um, 
what you would expect from espresso. It's dark, it's a bit bitter, a little earthy. Uh, this is an Asian coffee, so it's got a little bit, or Asian Pacific coffee, so it's got a little bit of spicy notes to it. Um, I'm relatively impressed that it doesn't have any more metallic flavor than it does. And uh, yeah, it's decent.